feel the life of St. John Maria Vianney. We may not be intellectually great people, but we can be great people in our spiritual life. We can sit close to the heart of God and we can feel our belongingness with God. That's what God expects from us. So, uh, I pray let the intercession of St. John Maria Vianney do help us to grow day by day in His grace. And uh, dear brothers, let us also acknowledge our own sins and shortcomings and let us surrender to the Lord our life. Today I very specially pray for Mr. Dominic Anagbosu who is celebrating his birthday. Good Lord, grant him long life with peace and joy and also good Lord, bless his family life. We also surrender to the Lord all our prayers, all our defect deserts. Let us offer at the altar and pray for God's mercy into our life. I confess to Almighty God and, and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most various fault. Therefore, I ask to save your mercy, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest Saint John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral seed. Grant, we pray that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows Son of man, I have appointed you as a sentry to the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from me, warn them in my name. If I say to a weak man, you are to die, and you do not warn him, if you do not speak and warn him to renounce his evil ways and so lie, then he shall die for his sin, but I will hold you responsible for his death. If, however, you do warn a wicked man, and he does not renounce his wickedness and his evil ways, then he shall die for his sin, but you yourself will have saved your life. When the upright man renounces his integrity to, to do evil, and I set a threat for him, he too shall die. Since you, since you failed to warn him, he shall die for his sin and the integrity he practiced will no longer be 
remember it. But I will hold you responsible for his death. If, however, you warn the upright man not to sin and he abstains from sinning, he shall live thanks to your warning, and you too will have saved your life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news. Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news. Oh, praise the Lord, all your nations. Acclaim him, all your peoples. Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news. Strong his life for us, he is faithful forever. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. He summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits with the power to cast them out and to cure all kinds of diseases and the sickness. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Dear loving brothers, in today's first reading, we have just heard taken from the book of Prophet Ezekiel. Speaks about our responsibility to get a brother for the Lord. When Cain killed his brother Abel, God asked, Cain, where is your brother? What was the, resp what was the response of the Cain? I am not, I'm not the God of, or watchman of my brother. We cannot say like this to God when God asks about the other. When you see your brother or sister is living in a sinful life and you are appointed to correct someone and if you don't do it, we are responsible for the death of that person. You understand? We are responsible for the death of that person. So, once you correct that person and if you... If you are able to get that person out of the mistake, out of the wrong ways that he is living, he will be saved by your 
intervention in the life of that person. And when we think about the saints, when we think about holy men and women in the holy Catholic Church, they are brothers, they have really sacrificed their life. Today, we see in the church, in the holy Catholic Church, we see many people working tirelessly <coughs> in order to hold the faith of the people. Many saints also pass through a lot of struggles as you pass today in your life. They never had a bed of roses. They had also a bed of thorns. Saint John Maria Vianney in his life, when he went to the parish of Ars, it was not something so welcoming. He had a lot of struggles, a rebellious people. The church, were, church was closed. There were nightclubs. People were also working on Sundays. And all kind of evil was happening in that village, in that a town. Let's call it as a town. But his prayer, his continued prayer, kneeling down, at the altar, hours and hours and praying rosary. And you know, the first day, uh, then people, he used to go to the villages, he, he used to go to the nightclubs and tell, he used to go to the people and say, okay, come to the church. But when, when people began to see something different in this person, they began to come by, they opened the church, people began to come, and in the first, the celebration itself, many people got converted to God. Why? A priest who is ordained for the service of the Lord, why he should be spending hours in front of the Eucharistic Lord? He should spend hours in order to convert people for the Lord. Because you are appointed to gain a person, a wrong person for Christ. You are appointed to win the heart of someone who is, who is wicked. And we cannot run away from that responsibility of gaining people for the Lord. Or bringing people to the way of the Lord. So, dear brothers, today, very clearly, uh, Jesus says in his, uh, in, in the gospel, today's gospel, Jesus very clearly telling our responsibility we are given the authority over the unclean spirit to cast them away and to cleanse the society from the clutches of the devil. That's what the authority given to us. And also don't think, if the martyrs were thinking the other way, if the, a person who is living a life for the Lord is thinking, hey, I don't want to suffer anything. If the person was not willing to suffer, there would not have been any saints in the Catholic Church. If martyrs were thinking, I don't want to die, I want to save my life, surely there would not have been any martyrs in the Holy Catholic Church. You should understand that. Someone has decided to be someone for the Lord. They are martyrs. They are saints. So dear brothers, God doesn't count on our, He doesn't count on our talents, don't think. I am created without any talents. God doesn't count on our talents. He counts on our willingness, our disposition, how you welcome your life. How do you accept your life that is most important. So today we pray for all the parish priests. It's a day dedicated for them. This is a feast day for all the parish priests. Not all the priests, but all those parish priests. So parochus, no, todos as salotas, no. Aquele que cuida directamente parochias. So, we pray for all the parish priests. The good Lord also give those priests the same spirit of St. John Vianney to gain more souls for the kingdom of God. May Almighty God bless all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, and our bishops, Bishop Inasio and Bishop Ernesto, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers, very especially our clerician brothers, Student Bonifacio Garcia, Father Michel Danius, Student Vitorino Calvo, Father Cesario Pelarga, Brother Mariano Hernandez, Father Domingo Jimenez, Student Jesus Pantova, Father Sucesso Vilalba, Father Atanas Anastasio Gomes, Father Tobias Romero Vigil, Father Roberto Thomas Alvardo, Brother Aluizio Eras Sanchez, Father Jesus Vasquez Aranzi, Father Osvaldo Joseph, and Father Cesar Garopi Baigori. Who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on the soul, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who are pleased with throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
let us pray. May parting at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saint John Maria Vian, that we may persevere in integrity, integrity the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is celebrated. Let us go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah.